What's up, everybody? My name is Anthony Irvin. You beat yourself? Yeah. Yeah, see me myself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm Jim Green. <laughs> Don't even need that hit of fucking <laughs> traffic light. <laughs> okay, good. Welcome to One Set. All right. Let's try this again. Yeah. Right? <laughs> We are back. Hi, everyone. Um, How's dude, everybody doing? I like like I was saying earlier, like I was. Hey, we were supposed to do this last night and. um, Well, the weather outside was weather the weather. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a CB weather night. It was oh a my CB God. weather night. Yeah, we were supposed to record last night. Um, Monday, the. Seventh, I believe. Seventh. Yeah. It was not a lucky number seven. Oh. Not that time. <laughs> not that time. Um, yeah. And I mean, it's it's eleven forty nine right now, PM. Um, so I got home from work and then um wound up catching up with my sister. Her and I are running down to Maryland tomorrow, which by the time this gets posted will be friday so wednesday the 10th beforehand we have projects that we're setting right now that we're trying to like zero in on um she had a concept for her one piece and then she just scrapped it which as artists like we tend to do that it's like i had this idea i thought it might work and then it's like it's not gonna work yeah figure out something different right um so that was why i got on late like i signed on late with you because i was like we're just wrapping up here it took another half hour before we settled in on something where she was like okay i feel good about this and then she was Uh, like i need to go home i need to get some sleep and i was like tomorrow's another day we'll figure it out mm -hmm. right um absolutely so yeah uh we were talking about little tone earlier so let's drive back to that yeah. So um like we said we we uh banked an episode to uh you know cuz I had a lot a lot of to do last week with my son turning 3 officially. Uh we had a birthday for him over the weekend this past weekend which uh we had a Lion King theme which turned out pretty cool and um you know had the whole family come over on both ends we uh you know had a whole big you know italian cook thing everything was great i i didn't even eat everything there was so much food so uh you know just just take it as that there was so much food i didn't even get to eat everything and uh you know even before the party uh on that thursday we had the uh we we had the great time to be able to hang out with you and Cheyenne on that Thursday. Uh, you know, we went to the diner, uh, you, me, uh, Cheyenne, Jen, and little man. We all went to the diner, had something to eat, and then uh, got back to the house. You know, you guys gave him, uh, you know, some gifts, which he loved. And, uh, you know, got to, you know, hang out and he was playing with you guys because he was uh, he he was kind of a little standoffish at first. And then once he like warmed up, you know, because he was uh, you know, he, he's usually like that every once in a while. And then once he warms up, a typical kid, uh, you know, they're shy. Then once they feel that they're comfortable, then they are they just break out into kid mode to you. Yeah, not for nothing. He had just woken up from a nap once we were in the diner. Right. So I was mm-hmm. like, OK, uh, I'm that same way. I don't I don't want to be social when I first wake up to when people are yeah. running their mouths. Right after wake up, I'm like, miss me. Yeah. Leave me alone. I was just uh, going like, to say miss I, I, me. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I can't I can't freaking do it, honestly. No, um, no. Especially and, when and, I'm like half asleep and like because I mean, like my wife, I, she can wake up and just be ready to go where me. I, I, my whole thing needs to be processed. I, I, I go through a whole process. It takes me a couple minutes to really just, you know, get into a mood to be like, okay, now you can tell me what I need to do for today. <laughs> it's nothing personal, right? Like, Mm-mm. 
my younger sister and my mom could be out here at 8 30 in the morning like having a conversation like they could be out here and i will come downstairs to let the dog out and i will immediately just be like leave me alone i don't want to talk to you like and it's not because i don't yeah. like them it's just like i'm not there yet i'm not fully right existing on this planet yet right so yeah um, like you're you're there but you're not physically there <laughs> yeah yeah um and 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 just you're still in a fog <laughs> and and to be fair like my parents are very similar in that realm um mm -hmm. where if i'm awake before them like if my mom comes down she'll walk into the kitchen and like it's not disrespectful that she's not like oh hello good morning it's just like she's not all the way awake yet and i'm like i get it it's fine um right i'll, I'll come home from work at night and both my parents will be like how's work how'd it go because i think that we're all wired kind of the same now to be fair my dad wakes up at like 4 4 30 in the morning and the thing about that, though, is he wakes up that early and nobody is awake yet to bother him. So it, that's that's his hit like him time, whereas your uh -huh. you time is right now. It's like between right now. 9 p.m. or 9 30, 9 30, 10 o'clock p.m. until 1 30 or 2, 2 in the morning. Like that's your you right. time. Right. And so mm -hmm. my dad's uh, him time is, uh, hey, my alarm's going off and. I mean, he has just, for my entire existence and, and, and being, has always just gotten out that early. But I think that he thrives on that time where he's like, hey, nobody's yeah. bothering me right now. This is where, like, I used to choreograph until 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning because I was like, nobody can bother me right now. This is where, yeah, like, I can zero in on my thoughts no interruptions and, and no interruptions right so mm -hmm. um yeah my dad's pretty similar too i mean he doesn't get up at 4 30 but he was always the when he was in his working you know prime i mean he, he's cut back on a lot of his working he's not full-time anymore uh but you know he would be getting up like five six o'clock in the morning and you know before you know my mom and me and my brother you know getting ready for school and everything and like you said that would be his like time to get coffee read the newspaper you know just i remember him just being at the table just doing his own thing and like you said that's just his me time to collect his thoughts what he has to do for the day his and everything just like he doesn't have to have any interruptions so he gets up does his thing and then once he has that time then he's like all right now you know once the kids are up everybody's up now i don't have to be like okay i need to take a minute to get myself like adjusted he, he's already kind of ready and most of the time he'd be out of the house by the time we'd be getting ready for school but in that it's like you know his time to just mentally prepare himself for the day all right, Anth, we got to talk about Liquid IV here, the number one powered hydration brand in America, now available, sugar-free, with three times the electrolytes um, of the leading sports drinks, plus all the eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone. Um, I know for me, with teaching, uh, being active in the dance field, um, it has definitely made my job a lot easier. I feel... Not like a dried up sponge. Like I feel so hydrated and so good about myself using liquid IV. And how do you feel about it? Hey, I'm right there with you, man. Uh, being a dad, a musician, we don't always think about hydration being our number one thought uh, all the time. So making sure you're hydrated is definitely key. And liquid IV, like we said, hydrates you two times faster than water alone with three times the electrolytes of lean sports drinks, plus eight vitamins, the nutrients for everyday wellness. It's just convenient. I cannot rave about it enough. One of my favorite things about Liquid IV is just the convenience of it. I mean, I'm on my way to work. I got my bottle of water. I just rip open Liquid IV pack, drop the stick in, and I am twice as hydrated rather than just drinking water alone. 
and the flavors, man. Uh, we got to talk about the flavors. Uh, you know, they just came out with uh, three new flavors, white peach, green grape, and my favorite personally, the lemon lime. And we love the tangerine flavor. It's so good. It is, it, it, it is just like summer right there in a nutshell. And one of the best things, there's no artificial sweeteners and zero sugar with a proprietary amino acid agulose blend for a sweet taste without the calories or raised blood glucose levels you get from sugar. Liquid IV believes that equitable access to clean and abundant water is the foundation for a healthier world. They partner with leading organizations to fund and foster innovative solutions that help communities protect both their water and their futures. To date, Liquid IV has donated over 39 million servings in 50 plus countries around the world. Get 20% off when you grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar free or any other variant at liquidiv.com and use our code one set pod that is the number one set pod at checkout that's 20 percent off anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code one set pod at liquidiv.com have you ever wanted to start your podcast but didn't know where to start? The One Set Bros are here to talk to you about Zencaster. Zencaster is the ultimate base podcasting solution and now the all-in-one podcasting platform making podcasting easy. They've sure made it easy for us to be able to record our podcast and our episodes every week for you guys. Once you've set up your account, you're simply one click away from recording a high-quality podcast with studio-quality sound and up to 4K video with your guests. My personal favorite feature is their multi-layer backups, which ensure our recordings are always in the highest quality, even during unstable web connections. And if you thought you needed multiple tools and services for your podcast, Zencaster's only one podcasting platform allows you to create your podcast all in one place and distribute to Spotify, Apple, and other major destinations. Go to Zencaster.com slash pricing and use our code one set pod and you'll get 30% off your first month of any Zencaster paid plan. I want you to have the same easy experience as we do with all our podcasting and content needs. It's time to share your story. Well, and it's, it's like you and I can't speak to it because I am not a husband. I am not a father, but 25 8 like he like if anything were to happen if like there was an emergency he would totally be right there and like hey what's going on but as long 100%. as as long as you and chris and your mom were sleeping soundly he was just like all right let let them rest and uh this is my peace right now and yep. and i know i know that that's how you are once you know jen and uh little tone are in bed after nine. I was just gonna say, you're like, you're like hey, I think this I'm is doing this. That's your prime time. time. Yeah, sure. And I think I would be doing what my dad would be doing when we were kids anyway. Like he he was always the last to go to sleep. You know, make sure everything's locked up, doors locked. You know, blah blah blah. You know, last person to go to sleep. So I I feel I'm doing something similar to what my dad would be doing when we were younger. Like okay, everybody's asleep. Now I can watch my TV shows. I can have a, I can have a drink if I want. I don't have to have any uh, body interrupting me, blah, blah, blah. And then once I'm ready to go to bed, lights out, make sure everything's good. Everything's, uh, you know, taken care of and good night, you know? For sure. Um, wow. We're, we're just sure. so simple creatures. <laughs> we're just so simple creatures in that fact. I mean, and I don't know why we, I, I don't know why we're so misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard right like we're like hey you work hard you're a husband you're a father and then when you're not at work and when you're well, like when your wife's asleep and when your son is asleep it's you time it's mm -hmm. not that difficult right <laughs> right um <laughs> okay so let's let's talk about the elephant in the room here which is um the fact that you are going to be a dad again again with another child well we knew we knew um y'all were having another one but um mm -hmm. 
the thing that I missed because I had shows this past weekend. Um, <laughs> you're a bunch of freaking liars, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll we'll find out the sex of the baby in three weeks. Yeah, for real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, go ahead. No, and lighten honestly, everyone. it was, uh, you know, we had known the gender. We didn't want to know the gender for one, and we just ended up finding out through one of her test results, which we ended up finding out that the gender was in that test result. So we're like, all right, well, it's there. So we kind of just got into like a flub with it. We're like, well, now we know. I mean, we didn't really want to know. We wanted to wait until the 20 week, but you know, it was to the point where like, all right, well, we'll just kind of take it from here. And then, Oh, so by like, accident well, you just saw the peanut and you're like, well, I guess we're having another boy. <laughs> I guess we're just having a boy. Yeah. <laughs> So we're like, all right, well, we're not going to wait until September with this news because there's no way we're going to keep this a secret from everybody. Like, let's just keep it between us for now. And then she, I mean, she was like, well, why don't we just do it at his birthday party? And we're like, okay, cool. You know, I mean, uh, you know, because we want, we were originally thinking of doing the whole gender reveal thing but the fact that trying to get everybody back together after his birthday party because it would have been you know similarly the same amount of people that it was so we're like it's going to be that much harder to get everybody to come back a month or two later and make make sure everybody's schedules fit together so we're like let's just do it at this time everybody's here and it's not going to take away from his day it's just one little moment let's just do that and you know so which is it like, worked out. it's really cool. It's really thoughtful of you both to be like, we don't want to inconvenience everyone to have to have an extra gathering. Like we're already doing this right now. Like that's pretty right. cool. Um, I, yeah. uh, so, again, I am bummed that I wasn't able to be there for that. Um, but I do want to, I do want to say that I called that you were having another boy, like, weeks ago i was like <laughs> they're having a second i was like they're go ahead go ahead like i honestly I, I, thought I... we were gonna have a girl i i was i was you know okay with the fact that you know not that i wasn't before but you know every guy wants wants their boy you know so when i knew it was I, even the first time i'm like i wasn't sure if it was gonna be a boy or not uh so when it came i'm like oh good awesome great then the second time I'm like i have a feeling it's gonna be a girl i mean my brother had a girl in his second time and my other cousin he has two girls so i'm like all right i think it, i think it's gonna be a girl this time most likely uh so when you know we found out it was gonna be another boy i'm like oh wow okay so uh but then again we don't have to really worry about making any drastic changes with, uh, you know, getting clothes and a lot of different toys because we can just recycle a lot of the stuff that we already have and just make it for make it for the next one. Whatever's going to nah, fit him. I, you know, I, we don't I, have to really I, go and, you know, go uh, 180 and just do a whole new, new outfit change, you know? Yeah, I think the dynamic is just going to be a little easier to navigate just because you already have a three year old boy and it's like. Hey, we've done this already, so it's not very different. Um, it's just no. gonna be it's gonna be like obviously you and Jen navigating having a three year old and an infant and like yeah. that along the way. But um yeah, I, I like I, I think it's I don't know. I'm I'm it's such a weird conversation to have, especially like I don't have kids of my own, right? Um, and I come from a family of like I have two older sisters and one younger sister, so I'm one of four, and I am the only boy in the mix of it. Um, and especially like I have all female cousins, like I on my dad's side of family, like, um. I have no male cousins on my dad's side of the family. Like I have one male cousin on my mom's side. Um, mm -hmm. and he's my psychic cousin. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, I, I think that I don't want to say life's going to be easier for you. Like, I don't mean that by any, like, it like it pops in my head. But I'm like, I, I think everybody wants one of each, kind of, just to be like, hey, I have a son and a daughter. But um, I, 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 I really feel like y'all are going to have a great, um, you know, upbringing for the two of them. Um. Here's yeah, a good he's qu- pretty stoked. Here, here's a good question. Do, and obviously, never say never, but have you and Jen talked about having more than two kids? Or, like, is that, like, something in mind? Or It's kind of like, if it happens, it happens. If We never really thought, like, we knew two was definitely, you know, in the in the bag but like the fact that <laughs> when i was saying like oh well you didn't get your girl i guess we're going for a third now right just like let's just have this one first okay like you <laughs> 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 and and then we'll we'll kind of draw that bridge when it comes but sure uh <laughs> you know <laughs> uh but you know again never say never i mean having two because i mean obviously coming from another uh, like a family where i had another sibling i never had more than one other sibling it would be different uh where i mean you come from uh, a family with three other sisters so uh it's it's a little bit different on your side so you can probably pinpoint a little bit more on your end about like you know having multiple multiple siblings instead of just one other sibling you know so jen is it's just Jen and her brother, right? Yeah. So again, just two siblings. Like I feel like that's right. probably where it makes sense, right? You don't. Uh, you don't want to just have like an only child. You want to have another sibling so that they can learn to. Yeah, the typical thing is like, oh, so they have a playmate. They have all that. Yeah. So social interaction, all that stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, I think it. I think about me being a kid and growing up, it's like my two older sisters were super close, like they shared a bedroom, like they were each other's best friend. And then I was just kind of like little brother over here, like that's cool. And I was awful as a child, (laughs) like I like behavior wise, I bit, I ran into people i wrestled people i apparently was a very angry child (laughs) i i I hear these stories and i'm like and look at you now look at me now (laughs) i am so super s a w f t soft Soft. (laughs) um but yeah no i mean I, i i think like my two older sisters were pretty close and then it was me and then my younger sister was born and she wound up getting really close with not the older sister my one older sister so it was really i I think along the way just dynamically speaking it was like i was really close with my oldest sister at one point and then I, i like i've been close with my youngest sister my younger sister rather at points but then I was close with my one older sister and like it would just fluctuate and it was cool. I mean, always has been. Um, But, you know, there's a lot of like the dance history that drives into that, Um, which Uh like, geez, we're we're recording one podcast now, not like four. (laughs) So I'm not going to get into like all of that stuff at the moment. Uh Um, But yeah, I'm. I'm just super happy for you. I'm super stoked. Um, Thank you. Thank I, you, bro. I th- yeah. I think I think Lil Tone has no clue what's about to happen. Like, he's gonna be like, "What's this thing over here?" And it's gonna be a baby that's you and Jen's, <laughs> and it's gonna be oh, his little brother. He already said he's like, "Well, I want to play basketball with him." I'm like, well, you gotta wait probably about two three years, buddy. I mean, he ain't gonna be coming out <laughs> swinging like. <laughs> 
but no, I, I think he's going to be a good helper. I mean, he's already kind of like giving us things like, oh, are you going to are you going to be, you know, helping us feed the baby? Like, yeah, I'm going to feed him. I'm going to do this and do that. So I think he's I think we're doing it at a good age where he understands it to a point And he's going to he's at a point where he wants to be able to help. So it'd be different if we were if he was like already one or two where he's still kind of developing a little bit more than what he is now, where I think now he can be somewhat more of that helper because by the time you know the second guy is going to be born he's going to be almost three and a half so he's going to be that much more developed and you know so i i think it's i think we've waited a decent amount of time in order uh to have that gap it's almost it, it, same yeah, it's, it's almost a- the amount of time between me and my brother so. It's, it's a good range to have. Like, I, I feel like you and Jen are going to be able to, like, manage. Like, right. You're going to have an infant. And then by the time that they are, like, little Tone's age, like, little Tone's going to be kindergarten, first grade. Like, that's yeah. crazy to think about, right? I know. Like, it's I so know. cool, though, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just even when he like saying that he was about to turn three, I'm like, can you believe like two years from now, we're going to have a five-year-old like it's nuts. Like how quick these three years have went. And just thinking like we went through a pandemic, we went through this and that and everything. And now here you go. You have a three-year-old, you know, when they say these years go quick, they're going by so quick that like you want to try to like, I uh, take in so much stuff, but there's only so much you can take in because everything's moving at the like a speed, speed of, light. of light in a way. Yeah, yeah. So you know, and I think even the fact that you know this time around when with Jen's pregnancy, uh, you know, with us having a a toddler with us totally different because you know she was able to and me and her were able to kind of just chill and she can just you know be pregnant (laughs) where now it's like you i mean she's pregnant on top of where we have to take care of a toddler make sure he's doing this and that we still have to be parents yeah we still have to be parents this time like where last time we were just getting ready to be and we were learning and doing this and getting stuff ready where now it's like you know you're doing that plus trying to still be you know mom and dad husband uh and wife and this and that so there's a lot much more going on so it's but i think this time you know we'll at least not be like those first uh you know newborn parent type of uh people where we at least know somewhat of what to expect this time around but then again it's always gonna be something different but we at least are not going into it blind you can read so many of those you know baby books and everything but you know until it happens you are just like in the blinders about what to happen or what's going to, what's going to happen. What will happen? How do you do this? How do you do that? How do you prepare for this? Like it just, it's like, you just figure you know, it out along you, the way, you, right? You just figure it out along the way. Yeah. And it, it's one of those things like they, like they always say, like y- there's nothing that prepares you for it. You can, you, you're never going to be financially ready. There's nothing that can prepare you. You just got to, when you're in the thick of it, you just got to go with it and, you know, just make the best decisions that you think you can make at those times. And, you know, so it's just, but it, again, you just have to have, I, we've just always been a good team when it comes to, you know, taking care of little anth and you know always trying to you know do the best for him and you know so having that perfect duo really helps instead of uh you know two people that are on two different pages with how to raise them when you have a good system to be like all right well you know what do you think what do you think about this blah 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 and you guys are at least just trying to you know be on the same page It, it makes it a little bit easier yeah, no, I, I think that you and Jen have just complimented each other so well uh, for all of the time that I've known you, realistically. I mean, especially becoming parents, and I'm watching how you raise Little Tone, and I'm like, 
they are literally like the best tag team in the world. Like I watch how <laughs> you both, um, you know, nurture little tone and how you're like, Hey, he's my son. And you're like, <laughs> I mean, so this is for, uh, our one set fans out there um, that don't know how awesome of a dad that Anthony is. Um, I got to see it firsthand <laughs> where you did the, like the, <laughs> the little lava t- stuff. <laughs> little tone <Tim> said <laughs> lava. And you literally hopped around on your feet and then you jumped up on the couch and I saw him crack up to no end. And I was like, oh, like I, 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 I was crying. I was like, yeah, <laughs> there he is. That's my best friend being the dad that I know that he is. And I Dude, love like, that to no end, man. Uh, the first that- time you can make your kid cry, uh, cry. The first <laughs> wrong one. Like, the first time. You, yeah. The first <laughs> yeah. time you can make your kid actually crack up laughing. It's. It's something you can't even describe. It's it, like, you know, it's the bees needs, right? Like, yeah, because yeah. like they think you are like, th- like you said, the bee's knees. They think you are the best in the world. They don't know anybody else but you. Like, so when you can make them have an expression of like laughter or happiness or this and that, you know, it's crazy. Because I-, I took him down to the uh, Sun Valley track for the first time this evening because, you know, I- he loves just running around. And I'm like, I got to get him out to the track and just let him run around. Uh, the, the football team was on, on the field tonight, so I couldn't really take him on the field, but he got to actually run on the turf a little bit and, you know, just loved it. And uh, I'll definitely bring him back there and everything. And, you know, he just wanted to, you know, again, kids are so simple. They, he, he, we walked around the track once and then he wanted to play on like the soccer goal and just throwing the football into the soccer goal. And then he wanted to play hide and seek. We did a little bit of that and, you know, just uh, especially in this pregnancy, I've been able to kind of spend a little bit more like one on one time with them that I hadn't had in the last a year and just being able to be more comfortable in, you know, not that I don't know how to play with my and play around with my son, but it's like being that extra goofy kitty type of parent that you can play around your kid and like you have that language with him. So I feel like I've gotten a little bit better at being that type of dad with him that, you know, I can, uh, you know, play his type of games, but also, you know, parenting him along the way, but, you know, being able to play like the, the hide and seek and then, you know, being able to give him advice here and there, you know, so just kind of seeing where I can, you know, be a better dad and you know kind of you know not always be this like hey don't do that or don't do this like because i never want to be that type of like dad to be like don't like do this because you're gonna get hurt or do like i want him to experience things and if he does you know uh you're gonna be there to you know pick him up but i don't want him to fear like not getting hurt you know so you you uh, trying to like, I'm trying to let go of that leash a little bit here and there. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I think with the territory, it comes and obviously again, not being a dad, but just from the outsider's perspective, it's like you're able to have conversation with him now, right? Like he right. is able to communicate with you. You feel like you can navigate just back and forth and yeah at the and same I think time that definitely helps with it too that you sure. can actually have a conversation with them and, and, you, and you saw it firsthand too so. i sure did yeah and you don't want to be like super disciplinary i think is what you were driving at where it's like hey um i i need to be uh my dad to him in the right moments but also i want to be like a cool fun dad and like let's right let's be like you know and i think just finding that balance uh, pardon me. <clears throat> I'm sure it's not easy, um, but it'll be interesting once um, your next son is born to see like 
how the dynamic shifts and it's like yeah um like i think i i'm guessing that jen is going to be like just because of her maternal nature right like she's going to mm-hmm. be like all about like taking care of the little one so i think that you're going to wind up growing a stronger bond with little tone because he's older and he's a little bit more independent right like yeah like it I, i'm excited to see all of that unfold and and it's no knock to jen at all like she obviously is going to love little tone oh yeah equally <clears throat> Right, it's like, definitely going to be interesting because for those reasons, because you know, uh, she'll be not, and we'll both be taking care of the newborn, but you know, I'll probably have to, you know, take care of little Anthony here and there a little bit more than she will because she'll also be on a little bit more of a bed rest. So being able to pick up the baby will be a little bit easier for her than picking up little guy, and you know, doing things with the baby will be a little bit easier on her than you know, doing things with you know a three and a half year old toddler. So you know, uh, like you said, I mean, not that I'll be drawn to him a little bit more, but it'll just be building my connection that much more with Lil Anthony while you know building this new connection with you know his brother. Just by nature. Yeah. I mean. And it's weird just saying brother now because we've we've only really had, you know, this manners and like only a few weeks. So it, we've been just doing like it or that, this, he, she, blah, blah, blah. So now that we can actually say like his brother or like he will do this and, you know, actually having the pronouns in there now, it's like weird, but it's uh exciting in the same aspect too yeah yeah a little different right yeah man. Wow. you are uh mr dad of the universe <laughs> I, like I, and i know i'm like oh you know i don't have kids i'm not married it's so fun to watch like your life gravitate in the direction that it is and um You've told me more than once, plenty of times, it is the best feeling in the world, like you being a dad, like, and I love that for you. Um, and I'm excited to see it all unfold again. Seriously. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm not looking forward to the, the long nights again, but it's uh, what you, it's what you got to do. You know, the, the the zombie mornings are coming again, but, you know, we'll still be here. <laughs> <laughs> I um I do not expect you to share this and I it's probably silly of me to even bring it up, but um I am interested to see um like what you and Jen decide to name son number two. Um because yeah. I basically like had a coin. Like I knew Little Tone's name. Like I was like, Yep, I, I, I figured that out. I knew it. <laughs> right. Yeah. We're, we're tossing some names around and we haven't like even gotten it down to like three to five names that we're like definitely, you know, into like, we've just been tossing some things out there and being like, and, and I've been very like, and I think it's just the musician in me, like even with Anthony's name, like Anthony Frank Irvin rolls right off the tongue. And yeah, I sure. feel with names, like you have to have a rhythm with it. Like, yeah, it has to be like a yeah. da, 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 like not even just that rhythm, but like it has to have a coherent, like rhythm to it. If I agree. The rhythm is off in my head. It's like, it, it will not work. Like, and, and when I hear a name, it has to flow. So like, and when I, I mean, I always knew Anthony's name was going to be Anthony, but I didn't know what the uh, middle name was going to be. Cause I didn't want it to do Anthony Charles. I didn't want it to be a full same thing as me. Like junior then, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Even though he is like, a, he's not a, an, it's almost like, again, with me and my dad, like I'm not an official junior to him, but we call it like a junior. And that's how uh, Anthony is like, we're, he's not an official junior, but we almost treat it like a junior type of thing. My, so uh, my dad's middle name came from his dad somewhere, but like, I'm not a junior. My middle name is actually, um, my mother's father's first name same thing yeah. right so yeah 
and and like James Joseph, it rolls like it like it rolls right mm-hmm. off the tongue. Yeah, it makes sense. So I, I it's like when we're discussing names, it's like all right, does this go in and does that go in with it? Like oh, the first name works good, and then the last name works with it too. Okay, what do you have for a middle name? Okay, the 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 like okay potential and uh, and and she gets so Whoopsie. like well you just like figure it out I'm like but you, it's it's all up here like it, it, it if it's not flowing it's irking it's irking my soul <laughs> well and, and like hey uh this is like a you and her thing so like completely dismiss whatever i'm about to say um but i feel like because anthony is your name and your firstborn got your first name. It's almost like Jen needs to have the say of what the first name is of your second born. Um, and I told him, like, I'm kind of giving you like, like a the, little bit more leeway, leeway on, yeah. uh, on this one too. Sure. Uh, she's like, Oh, I know, but I, I just obviously still want you to have some uh, say in it. I said, yeah, for sure. And because no offense uh, and not being in a selfish way, I already got the name that I wanted. So, I mean, it's, and the fact that, uh, the Frank thing came along because I'm like, all right, well, I wanted to honor her dad in this too. But at the time we weren't, we didn't know if we were going to have another boy and, and God forbid we had a girl that I, I would have been felt bad if I didn't have the Frank thing in there. So I'm like, Anthony Frank Irvin, I'm like it, it does roll. It's yeah. good. I'm okay with it. So I'm like, I, and I pitched it to her, and she's like, "Are you sure?" I said, "Yeah," because I mean, I always did want to have your dad involved in this. So that, and it wasn't even a no brainer. Like it, you know, we were on a walk one day, and I was like, I was thinking, why don't we just name name him Anthony Frank Irvin? And she's like, "Are you sure?" I said, "Yeah." I mean, I wanted you know to always honor your dad in this and i figured you know if we're not going to name him frank as a first name i want why don't we just put his middle name and it just worked out so like with this it's like you know i'm giving her you know more room to really say like, oh, okay here's a first name you know oh what do you have for a second name and you know so what, um, what's her brother's name again? Is it Michael? Michael. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, like, I'm, I'm just like, like having fun here. Like, um, your, what's your dad's middle name? He doesn't have a middle name. Okay. Um, that reminds me of. And I'm I'm not gonna say say his name on air. Um, we'll talk about it after. If you remember, I'll be like, oh yeah, this dude that we grew up with, he totally did not have a middle name. Um, and I I always thought it was like not weird, but I was like I just didn't know it to be a thing, right? Uh huh. Um, your mom's mom. What was her name? Carmela. Okay. It's tough because like finding like the male counterparts to name. Yeah. It's a little tricky, right? Um Right. You mm-hmm. could you could say like Carmen, which is like a that's almost like a gender neutral like that yeah. could float either way. Um I mean there's what's his name? Carmelo Hayes NXT, right? Yeah. Um it's almost like Sam, like Sam's like both boy and girl. And I'm like, I mean, Sam. nothing wrong with the name, but it's like, to me, it's like, I don't know. It's just like, and I'm, I'm getting like very not picky, but I'm like, you know, I want it to have some like power to it, but nothing. It's like, and I, again, I was at the dentist today and the, the dentist was saying like, and plus you got to think about, you know, God forbid bullying too. You know, you don't want to, pick a name and then it's like some it's almost like easy for bullies to you know pick on too i'm like yeah you never really think of that because then you know so you gotta think of a name that's like not gonna be you know because especially in this world you know because people take things and just throw throwing them around (laughs) so so this is fun 
let's talk about um, strong um, male uh, names. Um, I'll, I'll start. Brock. Come on. Brock Lesnar. Brock. Like, seriously. Yeah. Right? Um, Nobody's messing with a Brock. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, <laughs> I... I've... Uh, I've always wanted... Um, to, like... I, 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 I love the name, like, Nathan <clears throat> and Nate. Like, I was, like... If I ever have a boy, I want to, I want to, I want him to be Nathan or Nate. Like I, mm. something about it. Like I love the name entirely. Um, See, like Nathan Green, that rolls. That that's perfect. Like it. <laughs> if if that was them, that would be a perfect like roll off the tongue. It just flows. That would be something like yeah, put that in the bag. That one works though. If I ever have a girl, I or I like I've had her name picked for almost 10 years now um we wow. had a girl named too it obviously i won't say it on air or anything uh but um we we if we were gonna have one we already had like one or two picked out but we always got stuck on this one we're like yeah that might be the one um i love the name autumn for a girl and i was mm-hmm. like if i ever had a girl it would be autumn sky green like it just That's rolls cool. it, yeah i yeah. mean i like i've i've told that to a couple friends of mine and they've always been like bar none they were like that's absolutely perfect i'm like yep in yeah, the bag. if i have a girl it's over here um yep i love the name Jaden. um it's not James, it's not Jim, but um, I do like the name. It's strong. It's not um, questionable. Yeah, like gender wise, <laughs> like a right Pat or a Sam or um, wow, I can't think of the others. And there's I plenty. can't think of them either. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Um. So yeah, I am pretty excited to see like what you two decide on for your second yeah. son. I mean, we, we got a little bit of time, but I'm excited to see which one we, you know, kind of eventually, you know, settle down with. And, you know, cause like I said, we, we have a whole bunch that we're kind of just floating in the air with, but I think once we get down to like top three, then it's going to be like, okay, which one's, which one is, going to be the first one we definitely don't want and then it'll be like all right top two then it's like all right yeah you're gonna which wake one up in the t- morning and be like yeah i actually freaking hate that one <laughs> and then just yeah. get rid of it <laughs> yeah like what was i thinking with that one bye like <laughs> freaking bye <laughs> yeah <laughs> so they always say that uh, uh that trying to name the second boy is definitely tough because i think for the reason is because you always already know uh that the first boy is going to be named after the father and i mean i've seen not a lot of guys do that anymore i think it's kind of gotten like it's fallen out of tradition a little bit because we have you know a mutual friend that has a boy that's not his name and i'm like and then there was like one of one or two other guys that I know. I'm like, but they don't have their son as their name. And I'm like, hmm, is it like because I've always grown up thinking, OK, if I have a boy, the first boy is going to be named after me just because of my dad. So I had always had that stuck in my mind. And I thought that was just tradition. That's what you do. That's I mean, that's what, uh, you know, if you do have a son, you name him after you, at least your at least your first one. So, so I'm like, I mean, is that kind of like tacky now? Is it out of tradition? Is it not necessarily trendy now? But I'm like, hey, I don't have any regrets of it. But, uh, you know, now it's like, okay, since it got that out of the way, it's crazy how it's so h- much harder to pick a name now. Where there's why the, when there's so many names you can pick out there. Let me ask you a question. Um, 
you're a musician. You have such a deep rooted passion for music and everything that encompasses it. Um, who is Jen's favorite artist? Right now? Uh, ever. Ever. Ooh, well, you're That's married tough. to her. You should know this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> um. Hey, uh, let me distract you for a second. She's kind of like me, though. She doesn't really listen to just one like band or artist she it just depends on the day like she'll go through a bunch of different bands at one time and artists like so she doesn't have just one specific one that she's like i i can't go throughout the day until i until i listen to this person or this album or something so i don't think she has just a favorite i think it's just like she has a a and a a a batch of you know artists or bands that she always has to listen to I don't know why like I I could see I could see Vincent settling in on your second porn it's the middle name where it's like I mean Vincent Michael Irvin could work Vincent Christopher Irvin could work if you did like either of like the siblings as a middle name right mm-hmm. Um, I don't know I, like Let's turn this around. Um, let's make this fun because, like, pretend I ever had a son. What do you think that I would name, or what do you think would be a good name for my son or daughter? I obviously gave away the daughter one, and you're like, oh, that's well, perfect. I was gonna say outside of the daughter one and outside of the Nathan that you said. Uh, I'm trying to think, like, and if you're thinking Nathan, like. I would think so, and I would think of something like a something unique, like a Caleb or something like that. Sure. Not, not nothing like like a traditional name. Something that has like a little bit of like, if this is the word to use, like pizzazz to it. like Caleb is something that's like you know unique. That's not like a traditional name, but it's like a little bit on the outside. So I like the double syllable usage because the last name is Green because you could go Caleb Green and it just rolls. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um Nathan Green. Same thing. Double syllable. Jaden Green. It rolls, right? Uh-huh. I, I can't I can't see Jeez. Okay. Let's think of all of the double syllable names. Like you said, something interesting, unique. Um Wow, I love that you said Caleb. I love that. Thank you. Um Dexter is very unique. Um, yeah, I, I, I just think of like the cartoon Dexter, so I'm like, eh. <laughs> I was thinking, of, I was thinking of the you know, series or the Star series. Yeah. <laughs> um, two different spectrums, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were thinking Dexter like the serial the killer. series. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> um. Wow. Trying to think too. It's tough because like as soon as something pops in your head, you immediately think about someone that you know who has that name and you're like, no thanks. <laughs> like, um even the name Simon. Simon, I'm like, Simon's a cool name, but I think of Simon Cow immediately, right? Um Yeah, his name should be Chet Stiley. <laughs> his his chisel like, like granite. granite. <laughs> yes. There it is. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, babe. That's what it's gonna be called. <laughs> She's gonna be whoopsie. (laughs) (laughs) 
but no, th- there was one name, and we didn't obviously think, but I think it was one name. She's like, well, what do you think of Steven? And there's times where, again, it's like almost like with music where I'm like, oh, it, it can't be that name because I automatically thought of Cable Guy and Jim Carrey's dude that he was stalking was named Steven. I'm like, and I kept thinking of the the, the scene where he's like, where he, he loses his lisp. And he's like, Steven? Steven! And I'm like, yeah, Steven can't work. I'm going to think of that the whole time. Can't, can't like, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, crap, I can't even do that because he, 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 he'll hate me for the rest of my life. <laughs> Dude, it's like naming him Miles, right? Like, you're like, Miles, that's a cool name. And by the way, um, Chet Stiley, we met when we moved the doctor into their new house, which yeah. I actually I actually just took. <laughs> wow. Uh, this isn't harassment, right? I, like, drove <laughs> Cheyenne past their house, and I was like, yeah, we moved them in over there. See that four car garage? They have mm-hmm. a home entertainment theater above the garage. And she was like, Oh my God. I was like, Yeah, see that water fountain outside? Like the front door? That's water. That's water. <laughs> <laughs> That's real water. That's water. They're paying, like, they're, they're paying for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but his youngest son, his name was Miles. And I was like, mm-hmm. see, like, that's that's such a fun, cool name. But at right. the same time, I'm like, Miles Irvin, it doesn't, doesn't roll. roll. It doesn't roll. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to have. Yeah. You, you'd ha- if If so, with that, you'd have to back it up with a good middle name. Um, like Miles Morales, Irvin, nope. something like that, that doesn't work. Not yet. even, <laughs> not something like that, but something around like it would have to have a good rhythmic n- middle name to out weigh the. You need a middle name that would balance it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. My, sure. my dumb brain thinking simply saying it needs to be re it's it's sort of rebalance it yeah I, I mean i mean at that point the middle name is going to be kilometer like yeah, kilometer mi- miles kilometer like <laughs> colossus that, that- like there, there you go yeah <laughs> see okay we're on to something here right? yeah <laughs> perfect i love it it's good miles colossus by the time his by the time this episode is done, it's gonna be Hickory Do. <laughs> Dude, if your kid's name is Hickory Farms, I I would love it. That'd be amazing. <laughs> HFI. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. Let let's let's drive backwards here. Let's do it based off of the lettering because Anthony Francis Irvin AFI was a complete accident. Let's be serious, right? Yeah, I didn't even think of that acronym when I was, you know, saying that. And then I, you, I think I, you were the first person that pulled that out. I'm like, oh, uh, then I'm like, yeah, didn't think of that. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Literally, when I like when I went to do the initials on the earphones, I was like, holy smokes, his initials are. AFI. And I was like, mm-hmm. did they even recognize this? Did they even know that that was a thing? Nope. Didn't even think about it. Uh, what is it? Pounds per square inch. So we would need like a PSI. Mm. So you, you, you need a Preston Stanley Irvin. You need a uh, Preston. That's not the greatest first name. But it it's is a good unique. start, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, How are you with two first, like, like a first name and a uh, middle name being like two first names, though? I mean, I am James Joseph, so that is true. So I mean, you're you're okay <laughs> with it then? You're, you're yeah. Anthony Charles, so yeah. Um, it 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 works because it actually does roll as long as it slides into the dms of that last name real smooth then mm-hmm. it's golden right right 
Preston. No, not Preston. Um, Peter. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hold on. I'm literally thinking Will I'm Defoe right now because of Peter Parker. Yeah. <laughs> the Peter Parker. <laughs> and I'm thinking Preston. Preston. Can't, can't hardly wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh P, 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 whole lot of P's, whole lot of P's, whole lot of P's. Um. <laughs> small amount of P's, small amount of small P's. Amount of P's. Uh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um. How about, pay, uh, um, are, are we just thinking guy names or is it just whatever now? No, no, no. It's for right. your next son's name. So, okay, yeah. Then we're not doing that one. Uh, if they do, the, if so, then they gotta wait till eighteen <laughs> to change um, it over. To change it over. <laughs> hmm. I mean, you have Paul, but that's pretty just like standard. Yeah, I was thinking Patrick too. Same thing. It's standard. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is where we we need to phone in like a like a chick that like has already thought baby names because you and I are just right dumb right now, right? <laughs> um. Yeah, we we need a dot. We we need a phone line. If if anybody uh, is you know interested in doing like a phone line with us, let us know and maybe we'll start doing that as a segment. Do like a phone line type of thing. Yeah, I'm thinking like we'll phone in people or yeah. Hmm. Paul, Paul is pretty straightforward. I feel like I'm mi- I'm missing a fun name that starts with the letter P for a man or for a boy rather. Um, yeah. no. maybe, well, maybe uh, let's what, do this. What, since we're kind of stuck on it, we can segue this into the next episode of we'll, we'll ask our audience, give us your best acronym for PSI names and we'll pick the best names and we'll do them on the next, on the next episode. Literally, yeah. Um, PSI is the acronym. Obviously, uh, Jen can veto this all she wants, and it's fine. But we wanna we wanna hear um, your creativity. Cre- Why was that so hard for me to say? <laughs> your creatine, like your, <laughs> your creatine. <laughs> no, the creative from our audience perspective is like, hey. Maybe we're missing something super simple and we'll be just like beating ourselves up about it after the fact. So, um, Anthony here and um, his wife Jen are searching for the best name for their second born son. So, um, first born son has the acronym AFI by accident. Um, it is Anthony's first name. It is Jen's father's first name for the middle name. And obviously, Irvin is the last mm. name. So if we can and, get a PSI, and by the way, that would be so awesome. By the way, awesome. I, kinda, I, have a per- I have a perfect title for this episode. What's what's my name again? <laughs> Instead of what's my age again, what's my name again? There you go. Done. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> PSI. Yeah, guys, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Cool. We'll, we'll we'll let the uh, the one set audience uh, give us some PSI names phone in. and yeah. uh, phone in. Maybe maybe yeah. Maybe we'll phone in with the the best name. Whoever has the best name, we'll phone in with them. Uh, yeah. So get, write them in the comments. Send us a DM. 
email it to us, whichever you like best. Uh, let us know your best uh, acronym, PSI uh, boy names. So P being the first name, S being the middle name, I being the last name, obviously, uh, obviously Irvin. Again, this is 100% most likely not going to be the name, but we're just d- doing a good game of fun out of it. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I still like Sebastian like a lot. But Sebastian Seb- is a cool name. Sebastian Irvin, you need something for the first name. Again, that you would it, you would it, need it a good a role. Yeah, yeah. You it either needs to have a good first name to back it up or a good middle name to you know balance it out. Yeah, I feel like you need something with three syllables for the first name. Da da da. Ye- Sebastian Irvin. Yeah. Like, yeah, it can't you would be, need a little bit more of a fuller name. It can't be like Paul or Peter. Like, no. Like like you said, three syllables. I, I, I think it would go da 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 boom 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 boom. Yeah. Yes. That that has a role to it, right? Absolutely. Um, yeah. I want to audience, uh your input is uh, more than ever greatly appreciated for this one (laughs) right um just to give anthony some ideas because jen's like come on figure it out and then uh he'll be like you know podcast fam help me figure this out and then she'll be like nah we ain't doing that then (laughs) we ain't doing that one (laughs) yeah no um PSI would be fun. If we're missing an acronym, it has to end with I, obviously, for Irvin. Right. A- AFI, PSI. BMI. There you go. Body mass index. Oh. Whoopsie. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> I'm like, time stamp that one. Um, <laughs> Dude, Brock, uh, Brayden, um, Brent, Bartholomew, <laughs> Brent Kreischer, <laughs> Brent Kreischer. <laughs> um, Brandon, Brandon. It's okay. So, if you had double syllable double syllable double syllable where it's like Braden Marshall Irvin it goes boom 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 like it's almost like I am a pentameter yeah. it rolls or I think too you could do a double syllable first name and then either a singular or three syllable middle name um I keep thinking Bert. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard to think about Bert. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bert Brent. No, I feel like there's a lot of sophisticated B names that I'm just not thinking of right off the top of my head right now. Um, mm-hmm. Not a f- not a fan of Brian. Uh, yeah, I'm not either. I mean, I know Brian's and they're cool, but like yeah. I I would never name my son Brian. Like, yeah, I get that. Um, Again, cool name, just not like eh. No, I, I'm okay. Cool. I know a lot of cool Brian's, like you said, but I'm just like yeah, I'm okay with the name. Yeah. Okay. I I think. Okay, let's immediately write off the one thing is your second son's name is not starting with the letter A, right? Exactly. Unless there's another A name that's like decent, then, you know, we'll we'll say it's not it's not totally written off the table, but it's not going to be Anthony again. (laughs) Yeah, we know that, right? Um, when it's just Frank Anthony Irvin, 
Just the, just the reverse. <laughs> It's so lazy, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anthony Frank, Frank Anthony, come here. <laughs> <laughs> so lazy. <laughs> Afa. Afa. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm. All right, we should probably wrap it up here <laughs> before we get too out of hand. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> uh, hey, to our audience out there, yeah, um, send us stuff in, please, guys. That'll be awesome. for sure. We would love to hear from you. Seriously, yeah, guys. Uh, you know, again, before we get out of here, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, make sure you rate, review, subscribe, Apple Podcast. Uh, like and subscribe follow here on youtube and uh follow us on the socials facebook tiktok uh instagram all at one set pod uh check out the merch uh join the patreon you get uh you know early access to all our episodes and you'll get shout outs uh discounts on merch so take advantage of all that and we will see you on the next episode. Uh, this has been Anthony Irvin, my best friend, Jim Green here. We love you guys. See you on the next one. <laughs>